Hey, what's going on, Trab? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with a new, another Lola, another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I'm wearing my um, normal people scare me hat because listen, outside is wild. The, the 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 full moon energy has got outside wild. It's fucking crazy out there. Anyway, so this video is called um, "What is Spirituality?" and <laughs> Let me just get to the jump anyway. Let's just get straight down to it because I ain't got time to mess around. Take from it what you will, yeah? All right. Because a lot of people think, oh, spirituality is a trend. Yeah, I get a crystal necklace and yeah, I'm in the gang kind of thing. It's like, dude, like, what do you even know what necklace that is? And they're looking at me like, uh, dude, it's either Shunga or Black Obsidian, yeah? <laughs> and your throat chakra is blocked, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, people think it's a trend and it's not even a trend in it. Um, because they think, people think it's all sunshine and roses. And listen, spirituality is painful. When you're doing inner work, yeah, it is sheer pain. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's get to it. It's not it's not a trend, but people think it's a trend. So um, what spirituality is basically doing, it's basically about doing your inner work and working through your past traumas. And um, so basically... <clears throat> You know, before, like when you was a kid, you didn't have a care in the world and you was out playing, you was being creative and all this and that. That's the state how life should be. But then you have life gets in the way and then you have like past trauma, things pop up and then this and that. And then you kind of lose touch with who you are, should I say? So basically, in a way, being spiritual is basically healing your inner child and trying to get back to the inner child before life kind of took over should i say um so yes about um healing past trauma and doing the inner work and um one second guys and it's basically about um one second guys yeah so um Another thing people think our oh, spirituality is against religion and blah blah blah. It's totally not even that. It's basically knowing the power is within you. So basically, what religion does is religion makes you look outside yourself for I don't know um, forgiveness and strength and blah blah blah. And spirituality is you know already know there's a higher force and you know where you came from and it's about connecting to whatever you believe in should i say I'm not saying religion i'm not dissing religion at all because i was born christian but some of the teachings just didn't add up for me like the blood of christ and the bread the body of christ that's like basically cannibalism no just let that sink in gang um but yeah so um spirituality is um looking inside for the answers and religion is basically looking externally for the answers should i say because if you meditate and do certain um practices the answers will all come to you should i say so um yeah there's that it's internalizing your power instead of externalizing it um sorry all right cool um so obviously du um during your your he in a healing should i say your um Obviously, you would go for awakening or um, if you're just interested in it, you start diving, I don't know, doing, looking at self-care and all this and that kind of thing, should I say. Um, but then obviously being spiritual, there's obviously tools to kind of help you on your path. So obviously you'd be using, I don't know, you start being drawn to crystals and tarot readings and oracle cards. And then you start looking to do breath work and meditating and then finding out about the chakras things will just pop up along your path and they'll start drawing you in and then you start being more um being more connected and feeling more at one with yourself and others should i say um along the path and um, yeah and obviously being spiritual spirituality is basically identifying your ego and not being connected to the ego because a lot of people are living life and their ego is running the show so they think oh material this i need that this person that that person i need this i i i when when you come from spirit and the soul it is we unity oneness not the i do you know what i mean unless you're saying i am like i'm healthy i i'm abundant 
you know, if you get me, that's like affirmations and that's another um, tool, should I say. But um, yeah, so spirituality is kind of trying to break down the ego and not live, um, be coming from a place of ego, should I say. We're coming from more of a spirit. Don't get me wrong, you can't kill the ego because if you kill the ego, um, you're basically killing yourself. But you can have an ego death that is um, killing a part of the ego so that when I had an ego death, um, my ego thought it used to run shit. Don't get me wrong, my ego's still, I've still got a big ego, but my ego's not in control as it used to be, should I say. Um, so yeah, the ego thinks it runs shit, but the soul actually runs shit. But depending where you're at, should I say. Um, but yeah, it's just basically about oneness and spirituality is seeing yourself in others, should I say. Um, so, cause when, after, I've been on my path for a little while now, and then you can start seeing when you're talking to people, you can start seeing what they're reflecting back of you, should I say? So I don't know. Before I used to be impatient, and stop. I'm still stubborn now, but impatience was one of my killers. Like that was one of my top things. Being impatient, got to get it done now. So these times, man's been practicing, practicing. So I'm a lot more patient. Man had to get um, patience is the key tattooed on my hand because yeah, I was impatient. I still am a bit impatient, but I've been working through a lot of it. Um, so when I'm seeing people rushing and this and that. I'm just like, oh, I used to, I used to be you. So it's funny. It's like, yeah, I used to do that. Like, so man can step back and be like, like, yeah, go on, do your thing. Or letting people go in front of you in the shop, like we're fighting with their baggage. And it's like, yeah, go on, go do your thing, man. No stress, everything blessed, you get me? So um, yeah, it's about reflection. So you start seeing the world differently and stuff. And then, um, yeah, when you start, the more deeper on your path you get, you start connecting with everything. Like, yeah. Um, people, places, things, animals, like fucking hell man, I was, I've been attracting um, squirrels, birds and fucking, I think last year I ended up almost adopting a fucking baby crow, like I had it in a box and everything, I was going to take it home because I know the cats were going to murder it and that, like the shit is just, when you start going on the path yeah, shit just starts happening innit, that's all I'm saying, like you get synchronicities more, um, like coincidences, nothing's a coincidence but you start seeing them more and more like if you're thinking of something it might pop up and this and that and then um the more you start healing the more you start letting go and the more you start basically raising your vibration and um yeah if you're having bad days then bad days weren't as they used to be should i say because yeah i still get bad days but before man get bad weeks and months and that like man be mashed for time like depressed and fuck like yeah it's a mess that like. but once i start doing the inner work meditating and breath work and raising my vibration and um letting go should i say and releasing let go surrender and release is the fucking shit y'all um once i started raising my vibration um things just yeah things um just weren't as they used to be bad like having a bad day, like man can see the blessings in the bad day instead of, oh yeah, it's a bad life kind of thing. Yeah, it's wild, man. But then, um, yeah, spirituality is more finding out who you really are. Like, just because you went to um, school or whatever, um, do you know who you are? Like some people get up, go to work, um, they've been, they're some people are just basically robots, should I say, Got um, from past programming from the system or whatever, primary school, secondary school, college, boom, work. And they're doing all of that and they don't even know who they are. So when you take them outside of work, they they lost and don't know what the fuck to do. So spirituality is going within and finding out what makes you tick. Like does going to that nine to five work for you or does going to the gym on a regular basis work for you or are you just trying to do it for your ego, should I say? Yeah, it's about, yeah, it's about finding out who you are and, um, find coming finding your center and who and your soul what does your what nourishes your soul not external things internal things and the more um the more on the journey you get the less you need um should i say that's quite important because i used to be quite material yeah i used to like gucci this and that creps tv playstation all of that all of it but then the more on the path I get, listen, man's being grateful for just having a roof over my head, food and water. Like, it's it's a transformation, I swear to God. And then um, another thing is, 
Uh, it's just basically about working through your life lessons. If you can, it's, don't get me wrong, it's fucking pain. Like um, some of mine were abandonment issues, even though I didn't get abandoned, but my ego took it as abandonment and rejection and certain things like that. But I've had to work through them and sit down and review them. I've had counselling as well. Counselling is great to get shit off your chest um, because I know people back in the day, like men back in the day, um, yeah, didn't like talking about their feelings or don't cry and all this other shit. But that's, no, nah, that's not embracing your feminine energy. To become whole, you need to embrace your feminine and masculine energy. You need to combine the dark and the light. So within as without, do you get me? As above, so below. Yin, yang, light, dark. It, it keeps going on, man. It's wild. But um, yeah, it's about working through your past traumas and working through your life lessons. Because once you work through them life, life, left, life, life lessons, once you've like not conquered them, but got a decent understanding of them, then you can take the next step. So if you're, you are afraid of rejection, once you know that, um, once you're confident and comfortable in yourself, you don't mind getting rejected because you know it's not you, it's the other person kind of thing. Or um, maybe rejection is just right, redirection. Maybe that path isn't for you, you know? Like, it's, it's it's weird the way I've started looking at shit because thinking, oh, yeah, I got rejected, this and that. Not even by girls, but just like, um, I'm not going into that. But yeah, that this happened and that. And it's like, no, man, that path weren't meant for you, dread. Your path goes down to the right star. You get me? So I'm like, oh, when man's done a bit of the work now, man's thinking oh, that path wasn't actually for me, you know, that actually makes total sense, so that path, um, yeah, there's blessings in it, yeah, blessings, and, um, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that's basically it, oh, yeah, and um, what spirituality also is, is this, connecting from the external world and going internal, so right now, um, one second, A lot of people can't go out, lock down this and lock down that and blah, blah, blah. So if you can't go um, outside, go inside, do some inner work, explore what makes you tick, what nourishes your soul. That's what spirituality is about. Not crystals and all this other petty shit wearing colourful clothes and all that shit. That just, come, that just comes naturally. Like, yeah, it's not about wearing, when you wear dark colours, you feel dark, depressed, drained. When you start wearing light and vibrant colours, you start showing your inner light. You see the light shining. It's it's stuff like that. But um yeah, spirituality is about um disconnecting from the external world and going internal. So I don't know. Um right now I know a lot of people have been doing hella inner work right now, and I see you lot shining because I've been doing inner work as well. Um don't get me wrong, it's difficult at times. Sometimes you gotta be disciplined and say, Yeah, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna meditate, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna do qigong, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna fucking do yoga or stuff like that it's challenging man you can't but obviously what you put in you get out in it if that makes sense like me being impatient i had to meditate like for 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 a while not like you don't need to be regular constant at it but if you do it like every other every few days or whatever you start seeing the little changes and little things happening and it's like oh raw like i am patient now or more patient should i say yeah but um Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's basically it, man. Yeah, that's basically it. And yeah, we're just basically trying to um do the inner heal the inner child basically. That's the main thing. And um I just wanted to throw out there. Don't follow the crowd. I don't know why I'm just getting a channeled message. Um because I'd, um I've always been had like been in tune with the other side. So with in a crowd, I know who I am. I don't like. I might be in the crowd, but I know who I am. Some people are in the crowd, and where the crowds go in, they're going. Should I say? And when there's no crowd, they don't know who the fuck they are. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I don't know why that message just had to be channeled out for you guys. But yeah, crystals, all of that stuff is um, all there to help you out anyway, guys. But um, yeah, man. That's a little insight for people that think spirituality is all all. It's a, it's a trend, it's a new, the new age trend, it's, no, it's not, <laughs> it's not, once you jump on the path, you see how painful it is, and having to be forced to do inner work, and when you have a dark night of the soul, yeah, guys, please hit the comments, if you have a dark night of the soul, and tell me how spirituality really is, if you have a dark night of the soul, sheer pain, dog, sheer pain, 
But um, yeah, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, hit the comments below, link link up with the tribe because um, it's a safe space for people to connect because like obviously people can't fucking go outside so you might as well connect and get to know people in the fucking comments, man. But yeah, man, peace, love and light, guys, and I'll hit you up with another video real soon. Peace.